Welcome back to a new episode where we will be talking about how to add comments in HTML5 and CSS3. For those who have programmed in other programming languages would know why you should add comments. And for the people that do not have a clue why you should actually add comments in your code, let me sum up some advantages for you. So first off, comments are basically text notes added to the program to provide explanation about the code that you're writing. And an advantage is that whenever you return to your code in, well, let's say 3, 6, or 12 months to see what you have done, comments can help you to remember what you did at the specific part of your application. It also helps others understanding your code. Right now, you're working on your own, but whenever you start working at a company, it is, well, pretty necessary to add comments because it will explain to others what you're doing because usually you will be working with a couple other people on one specific project. You could also add whatever you want as a comment as long as you're not violating the rules of commenting. The first thing that you need to do in order to create a comment is, well, go to the line where you want to add a comment. You need to write down a less than symbol, followed by an explanation mark, and after the explanation mark, you need to write down two hyphens. And you can see that the code after the opening comment turned gray. This happened because we have only created our opening comment, so everything after our opening comment just got commented out. We also need to close it, because right now, everything after our opening comment is commented out. So right after the hyphen, we need to write down space, followed by two hyphens, and a greater than symbol. Any content placed within the opening and closing tags will be created as comment and will be completely ignored by the browser. So let's write down in between the opening and closing tag, this is my header. Let's save it. Let's go to the browser and let's refresh it. And comments are not visible in the browser, so therefore you're not seeing anything right now. But what we can do is to go, well, right below our this is my header comment, and let's create an h1 tag, and let's write down header. Save it, refresh the browser, and well, header just appeared on the screen. In other programming languages, there are two types of comments. A one-line comment, so what we're basically doing right now, because we're only commenting on line 9, and there's a multi-line comment. In HTML5, there is no multi-line comment. So let's say that we want to comment out our H1. We basically need to copy it, and we need to place it right after the closing H1. And now you can see that H1 is gray as well, and it's commented out. So let's save it, refresh the browser, and the H1 just disappeared. What we did right now is commenting in HTML. The advantage of using comments in CSS are pretty similar to adding comments in HTML. So let's open our style sheet. And well, from the previous episode, we have our H1 and our paragraph. What I usually do is to go right above the code of a specific section of the page, and I will add a comment with the name of that specific section in between. The syntax of a comment is pretty straightforward. All we need to do is write down forward slash, followed by an asterisk, so a star. And right now, we created an opening comment in CSS. And just like the HTML, the color of the text after the opening comment just turned gray, because we need to close it as well. And in order to close it, well, you have probably guessed it, we need to write down an asterisk, so a star, followed by a forward slash. You can see that the color came back of our H1 and paragraph styling. And right now, we're just commenting on one specific line. So in between our opening and closing comment, we can write down what section of the course we're styling right here. And since we're dealing with an H1 and a paragraph element, let's write down heading elements. So let's save it. Let's go to the browser. And, well, nothing's happening because we're adding a comment. But if we go to our index.html, well, let's create an image. 
and let's open the one of the previous episodes. So it's in the folder img forward slash banner.jpg. And let's set the width and height equal to 100. So let's save it, refresh the browser, and the image just appeared. So let's remove the comment. Well, let's place it above, save it, go to our style sheet. And what we can do now is to copy our comment and right below our paragraph, we can say image elements. And we can style our image. So, well, we can actually remove the width and the height in our HTML save it and in our styling we can say that the width is equal to 100 pixels and the height is equal to 100 pixels save it refresh the browser and the output is exactly what we want this was it for this episode in the next episode i want to talk about colors in css and specifically about the rgb color if you do enjoy my content and you want to see more Leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.